Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna do something a little different, just simple, fun. We are gonna make some fun folded envelopes. This is just a little different idea. It takes a little longer, but after you've got it down, you're gonna love it. It is just so cute. Let's get started. So you wanna start with a square piece of paper, whether it's already embellished like a scrapbook paper or it's just a blank sheet of paper and you can stamp it and embellish it later. So I'm using an eight by eight here, but the size you use is just going to determine how large your envelope is at the end. So I'm going to fold it point to point. So you will have a triangle here. And you want the image side on the outside. And then I am going to fold it point to point the opposite way. So I'm gonna go through this a little slowly. The first thing you're going to do is fold two of these, these two opposite corners right to the center. You're going to see this folded line is going to line up with this folded line. Do the same thing with the opposite side. Now, I have done this several ways and I found this works the best. For this, I need a guideline. So, for one of these two corners, I am just going to lightly press in the center. I am folding it all the way in, so we have this nice three-formed area, and I'm just going to press in the center to make a guide mark there. Now, where that guide mark is up at your north, at top. So I'm taking this bottom point and going all the way up to this guide mark, making sure my fold line and my fold line here are matching up. Open this bottom flap up. We are taking this point again, and I am going to go to this bottom fold line. These are the things you need to look at, is these crease lines right here. Make sure they are very nice and creased. Now these two corners we are bringing up. Now there's a straight line going right here. I want this edge to be right on this straight line. Like that, and then coming down, I will have a straight line going up here. So this is right on the crease line and this is going right up into the center. We're doing the same thing with the other side. This fold is going to go right over this crease line right there and you're bringing this down. So this is what we've got. You're going to pick this piece up and these little corners, you're going to Put your fingers here and here. You wanna just crease this flat. I'm gonna fold this flap down. So I want this to be more of a square or a rectangle. We're just going to fold it right where these points are but make sure it's nice and straight, straight across, so it looks like you have a nice square here. So right at these two points, or real close there. So now you have this square right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to be lifting these and they're going to be going on top. Now, this is where these two corners, not getting it quite right, can get your envelope off. So I am lifting this up, and that's open, now, where this was folded down will now be folded in. That's laying flat now. And this top piece is going to be on top. So you're literally just taking this part of the pocket and instead of underneath, it will be on top. You can see this is underneath. And when you pick up the fold, so the way you folded it, you have your guidelines, but you're just folding it the opposite way where this will go down first and then this will go on top. I'm going to fold this top piece down and then pushing the square up, I'm going to fold this back. Now where I'm gonna fold this back at is you're going to see these two crease lines across here. Just below that is where you wanna fold it. 
And so we've got that. Now what we're going to do is take this piece that we have on the side, and you can see the bottom is still adhered down here, but we're just going to flip the top part of it to the front and set behind this square. Same with this one, pick it up, and you can see this is still attached right here, and it's holding it in place, and that is going in there. This next part, in this point, I am going to fold right to our guideline that we made earlier. And then we are going to go past that folded line, pick this up, and put it underneath this square as far as it goes, and fold down. And so we have this cute little envelope. I found with mine that I just steam pressed them down and they laid really pretty and flat. Now if you wanted to, you could tape or glue pieces down. You don't necessarily need to. I did on a few of mine where I put a little bit of glue right here and then just a little smidge on the edge and down here and it held it all together very, very nicely that way. So I wanted to make some fun pockets to put things in and not necessarily use it as an envelope. Before you glue it down, you would do this if you're making a pocket. So I'm going to take this top edge. For me, it's easier if I just have it facing towards me and I'm opening that up. Now I'm gonna flip these up. So before the envelope flap was on the outside, now I'm putting it into the inside using my same crease lines. So after I've done that and folded that in, I am once again going to put these behind there and then you could glue these down. And now you can see this is more of a pocket. So here is the top of my pocket. I haven't glued anything in yet but I wanna give it a little more interest. So I'm gonna take a sheet of paper, who is before I glued all the other sides, I'm going to glue this in. And I'm just gonna put it along this top edge. I'm going to glue this little corner, just a little bit in here and then under in here. Tuck that under, do the same on the other side. And now you can really see where your pocket is. And at this point, you could put embellishments anywhere on here and put this on your page. So I found these little clock pieces that I cut out and I thought these could be cute. Or you could even put like a little number or something else fun. I'll just glue my glue stick, just glue this on. But you can see how you could really switch this up. Whether you added some fibers or ribbons or little bits of transfers or stickers, but you could add as much or as little, but it gives you another fun way to dress these up. These are not gonna be the fastest pockets you've ever done, but I think they're so fun because they're so unique and different. So if you had a fun journal page, look how cute that would be on the front of here. And you could put tags and other fun pieces in there. So I hope you guys had fun with this. And after you've tried it a couple of times, I think you'll really get it down and it really gives you such a unique look as an envelope. And by the time I'd finish embellishing this, this is just adorable. And whether you do a large size or a really tiny size, aren't those cute? You could do that. Or if you would like to try it as a pocket on a journal page. Hope you give this a try, but whatever you do, have fun.